for step-by-step -step video recording on how to swap the skies out on your your photography on your photos so first thing we need to do is find a photo that we want to work on so I just I'm just gonna pick this one right here and uh, what you want to do next is open up Photoshop um, I usually just right click on my uh, photo and then I can open with Photoshop just like that you can do it any way you want though some people have the the app at the bottom that they can click on so anyways we get the photo to load up um, real easy once you open your photo in order to swap out your sky all you have to do is take your mouse go up to the menu bar where it says edit and then scroll down to sky replacement just like that and watch the sky automatically it takes a few seconds but it'll automatically just change just like that it's magic it's real simple. Um, you do have some different settings and adjustments you can make. Um, generally, like this is like a twilight shot here. So it did a color adjustment of a 35% already to the foreground of this photo. But if I didn't want to do that, I can I could slide that back down to zero. And as you see, uh, the foreground color changed a little bit. But you know what? You know, since this is a twilight shot, maybe I want to add some of that back. I'll take it back to 35. So um, this photo is a little bit bright, you know, in the foreground and the sky seems a little bit darker. So if you want to adjust the brightness of the sky, you can slide that bad boy right there and, uh, you know, tweak it until you get to, you get it to your liking. Um, you can even drag the sky around. Like I can see right over here, looks like mountains over there. And I know that we don't have mountains in Florida, <laughs> so, you know, you might want to take just click on it, drag it down a hair, just like that. As you can see, like the sky, when I move it around, there was a mountain right there. So so just make sure you watch for things like that. Drag it down uh, until, until it disappears. I can see on the left-hand side, I still have a little line right here. And What you can do, um, sometimes it's just best to take the scale, the scale of the sky, and just bring it up to like 110%. And then, then you got a little more wiggle room to play with on both sides. Because if it's at a 100%, it's got to be dead center. So after you get it the way you like it, just click OK. And that's it. You got your uh, your new photo with your new sky. Uh, this photo is a set of layers. You know, so you, know, you save it as a PSD so you can go back and tweak it some more if you want. But... Um, if you know anything about Photoshop, uh, you know you want to make sure you shit you save it in a JPEG format. So just go to File, and uh, you can do uh, Save As, and then click on it. Oh, I'm sorry, not Save As. You go to Export, go to File, Export, um, Export As. That's what we want to use, and then from here. It's automatically select on PNG, which is a no bueno for real estate photography. So I'm going to put that down to JPEG. Um, this seems like a pretty good size. Um, I don't know what that is. This is a new feature here. They just updated this recently. But, oh, here's the quality. So usually, I usually set it to good. Uh, if you put it on great, the file size gets really big, so good is like almost like a lossless compression. And just click uh, click export, and then you can save this to wherever you want. Uh, I'm going to put it in my downloads folder, just like that. Click save, and there you have it. Nothing to it. Now I have a a nice brand new JPEG uh, in my downloads folder, right here at the top. With a, new, with a brand new sky.